Hi guys and welcome to Super Metallurgy. Hi guys and welcome to Supermed. Today I am in Hong Kong in a central inner place called Wan Chai and I am at McLaren which you can just see across my shoulder. Very busy place and today we're going to be looking at a 570S in, a, in electric orange metallic most amazing pearlescent paint and um, we're going to be shown around and look at two cars both 570s and then, um, uh, and then I'll show you around the car. Okay so let's go and have a look around. A bit of building work going on in here today so they're having a new uh, a new stand made over on this corner a huge screen put in and, uh, and this is the car we're going to be looking at so this is the uh, the 570s mclaren um, with the most amazing pearlescent paint car's got a uh, v8 3.8 twin turbo engine mated up to um, a seven speed dual clutch um, grazioni uh, gearbox um, this car's got a few MSO options on it as well. Um, so um, you've got the these tailpipes at the back, which are in the satin finish. Um, I believe it's got the sports exhaust, but we're going to hear that in a bit and we'll test it out. Um, Two-ton interior, so um, this has got carbon on the steering wheel, paddles, um, and then where the RS console is, just in the centre, is also you can see in beautiful carbon fibre and this lovely uh, this lovely steering wheel with um, with this wonderful finish, and then the paddles down here. Really, uh, really rather nice. Seats are in um, Alcantara, which is part of the pack, with the McLaren logo on the uh, on the headrest, um, and then it comes down into the leather with the orange, um, the orange uh, stitching and the orange centre accents, along with the uh, the orange seat belts. Um, McLaren's really come along from the days of a 12C. Um, this feels like um, a pretty well screwed together car. Um, You've also got things like centre console, which you can put things into. You've still got the gearbox in the centre, just uh, just down here in that carbon section again. Um, but very typically, a McLaren through and through. Um, a few other options this has got is the uh, the Baron Wilkes um, audio system with 12 speakers and apparently 12,000 watts of of music power. So um, really nice package. And if we look around the exterior of the car. It's got the, um, the lightweight wheels, um, carbon ceramic um, carbon ceramic discs, um, carbon center caps, large calipers done in the same matching orange as the, uh, the bodywork. And I don't know if you can see this bodywork, it's, it's just stunning. Look at all that, that flake. Beautiful. Um, doesn't have carbon exterior pack on it, on this car, but it's finished in a sort of a titanium colored um, black finish. Really pretty. And it's nice being a spider out in Hong Kong, especially when it rains. 14 seconds, the roof can be pulled back and, and away you go again. So we will start it. Listen to the, to the exhaust. Okay, so on the interior of the car, you can see these um, these large speakers, um, the uh, Baron Wilkes system. Again, the carbon fiber is following through into these trims, and this is your uh, your door handle just over here, which is illuminated, so you can you can lift your door up. Um, and then this is your window switch. This lovely Alcantara finish along the door cards with the um, the double stitching following through in the uh, the orange. And again, now underneath has actually all been trimmed in. Um, in the uh, the orange matching bodywork um, leather. This is the button here, which opens up the, uh, the glove box. So if we press that, you can see the glove box just uh, just opens quite nicely. Small glove box, but don't forget, this is sort of a, I would say a miniaturized supercar. So this is pretty fantastic for storing things away. There's a lot of cars out there now where actually you don't have a glove box. 
Okay, so this is the uh, the main center console. Um, so this sort of bullet style, it's an amazing looking speaker up here, is part of the um, um, the Baron Wilkes um, audio system. So it's one of the speakers from the, t the 12 speakers. Alcantara everywhere, which is great for reflections. So it's cutting down on, on uh, the reflections on the dashboard. Um, when you're driving it in places like Hong Kong, it's fantastic because when the sun comes out, it can be very glary if you've got a leather or a shiny black plastic dashboard. These lovely air vents, I mean, it feels like a quality um, motor car. It really has come on considerably. Um, and then we've got the iris system down here. So obviously we're not connected up to a telephone, but if this was connected, then your contacts would be in here and you could go through and you could do things um, as, you, um, as you wished. Press this uh, back button just here. That takes you back to the main menu. And we've got, um, we've got media. Again, we're not actually um, uh, connected up with um, the hard drive or with our Bluetooth, but you can also do a line in got your normal radio and then you can browse through other features let's go back again with that back button and this is your radio then we'll just uh, turn the radio down just in case so you can see radio working pretty well um, but very intuitive works really easily so this control is is your, your main sort of knob for changing your radio settings um, it also um, um, allows you you can also touch the screen so we can just um, we can say we want to go onto a different channel and you can save those as your favorites with um, digital audio and normal FM and then just your presets and AM okay then it goes into your navigation system I'm not sure if this car is ready to go yet let's have a little look it may not be so I'm Exactly, so we actually, it hasn't got the data in it. So this would be loaded up when the car is purchased so that your nav system would operate. Um, apps, you can go into a browser, you can go into your main map, which would work through Google Maps, I believe. I may be wrong. Um, and then um, weather, which is obviously all online, just like you find in, in sort of the, the modern day motorcars, the Mercedes, the Audis. Um, so there'll be a sus subscription which would allow you to utilize some of these features. Um, and then voice control, which I'm not going to touch, but uh, voice control so you can tell the car what to do and you can change certain settings. Um, yeah, so then we have um, heating controls. So you've got a um, temperature for each side of the car, so each occupant can have different temperatures. I rather like that this um, this guy in the centre isn't just any guy. He is a um, he's sort of dressed up as the Stig um, with his crash helmet on, and I rather like that. I think it's it's a rather cool feature which you don't see in many cars. They just go generic, and, th and this is pretty cool. You've got your heated seats here, so you can put your seat heating on, and you've got your different settings, um, and with your air conditioning to disable it, your heated front screen, and your heated mirrors, which they're definitely not going to be needing in. Hong Kong so that is your center console then we come over to the um, this this glorious steering wheel so um, you can see the carbon fiber inserts all around the all around the edge of the steering wheel through the centers and then you've also got the paddles which are slightly larger um, and with the McLaren you can actually um, you can shift down here or shift up here because you see plus negative but if you pull it lower down it will actually do an up down shift for you um, so you don't always need to be holding on to the right side or the left side when you're turning the steering wheel which is, is a rather nice feature and I don't believe anybody else does it except for McLaren horn in the center again with a uh, that wonderful McLaren logo okay then we have um, the main display inside the car so here it's giving you your your, your distance so your odometer which is showing 44 kilometers because this car is actually a, um, a Hong Kong car not a UK car um, and then it talks to you about um, different items where you can get different settings come up on here showing your um, comfort on um, your ride of your suspension and also your gearbox settings um, then on the right hand side you can see oil temperatures water temperatures and your fuel gauge and obviously when this car is then fired up properly if we press it again we get the center binnacle then changes and you get the uh, rev counter you've got a digital speedo your gauges are exactly the same over here um, and then we've got our odom odometer journey distance and your trip distance as well as showing seat belts and handbrake and the usual bits and pieces and then your your little McLaren car which is great because it's actually in the shape of a McLaren and it looks like a 570s and it shows if there's any uh, functions which are disabled or there's any damage to your car and it tells you all your issues on that little screen there so in following round into the door card rather nice how it wraps round here on the door and it sort of flows in this sort of McLaren-esque shape um, again with your air vents and your blower up on the window up above for the speakers this pillar is, is beautifully trimmed and it follows all the way through along the top of the uh, along the top of the car really rather lovely
and then uh, Bowerwick speaker and then obviously we've just got our, our passenger window driver's window on this side here um, for a supercar it's a bit odd to have a, um, a glove box so you can see down here rather well thought out so you've got um, your cigarette lighter extension socket there so 12 volt outlet which can be used for phones but you also have three separated USB charging ports or ports which I imagine could be used as a, a media line-in and then you've got your auxiliary line-in just at the bottom here um, but quite a useful space you could put your wallet into that and then also a business card holder just here or credit card holder um, but again nicely finished and trimmed in, in um, black leather with the double stitching to match the interior and the rest of the bodywork behind the seats um, we have some more speakers just behind the seats you can see just there so you've got your subwoofers um, and um, and then just a, a tiny tiny little bit of storage space behind these seats and these seats are actually not carbon back they are just a uh, uh, jet black to match some of the uh, the accents on the exterior of the car so the roof if we were to do the roof um, this is the roof button just here and all we do is actually just push this forward um, windows come down slightly and then you can see the roof mechanism is all coming out. And this takes 14 seconds. And then the back window goes up, rear section comes down, and the roof is then done. The acoustics have just changed massively in here since I've done this, but it's, uh, it's really nice in here. Feels very cosseted and um, feels rather special. Okay, so that is the interior of a McLaren 570S. Let's get this roof open again, and uh, and then we can do a bit more uh, a bit more filming. I just like pushing the roof button. So 14 seconds, start to finish. It's got to be one of the fastest roofs in the business. Okay, so let's have a look at the um the boot lid. So the button on the door, just here, that button there. If you press that, and you'll be able to see it just pop up over here. Now this is the biggest boot lid I have ever seen. So under this flap is the extent of everything that you would, uh, you would need to do with your McLaren. Everything else is only serviceable by McLaren cars. So it's tiny. So you can see in here we have water and we have oil. That is it. Mobile one. And then this tiny little flap, which weighs absolutely nothing, just gets pushed back down and that is it. Okay, so let's uh, show you this thing when it starts up and you can hear the noise and see exactly what it's all about. Why people buy a McLaren. 